Uh, Julia Child, uh, of course, she is the, uh, this country's favorite chef. Uh, she is a charming woman. She has a brand new television series coming up on PBS entitled Dinner at Julia's House, which premieres October 14th. Uh, it's a pleasure now to welcome Julia Child. <laughs> This is really, really fun for me because you're someone I've, uh, I've watched for many, many years and I've admired your work, and I, I think you're, uh, in addition to being a talented cook, you're just a, a keen, genuine personality. Why didn't we hear any audio when you went into Cecil Fire? Well, you know, it was the microphone. I have, I have oh. one here, and I had one there, and I, I get see. confused. It's like walking and oh, chewing gum. Oh, well, uh, that was fun anyway. Yeah, but uh, uh, I forgot to give her the sponge. I'll give you a sponge. Yeah, They're good too, aren't they? Yeah. I've got a pocket. Well, pocket hang on to that. There. You, um. <laughs> you, you, uh, I know you're, you're taller than I thought you were going to be, and I don't want to be rude about mm -hmm. this, but is it, is it okay to ask you how tall you are? I'm six feet two without anything. And then the, oh, my heel's about an inch. Uh -huh. but I'm the shortest in my family. We come from California, and I guess that's good. Good you, food you and everything else, plenty of sunshine, sunshine. Yeah. orange juice. And did you uh, play sports when you were a, a young girl in high school? I did for a while. I, when I was in grade school, I was jumping center, mm -hmm. and nobody could beat me. No. When I got to college, <laughs> they changed the rules, and my function was over. So Yeah, girls' basketball used to be much, uh, it was actually very primitive well, was, until recently, wasn't They didn't have anyone that was big enough. Yeah. So, I mean, I, that was really all I did was do the jumping center. Now, when somebody picks up one of your cookbooks, yeah. uh, are you responsible for new recipes? Is part of your job as a chef to, to always be thinking of different ways to cook different things? It is uh, the first book that we had mastering with the art of French cooking, number one, was a, uh, classical cooking. Right. It's all supposed to be done in a classical way. And at that time, that was before the Nouvelle Cuisine came in, and it wasn't done to change how things were done. Yeah. Oh. But now, I think with the Nouvelle Cuisine, much, one is much freer. Anything goes, doesn't it? Anything goes, but I think the better background one has, the better a cook. Because if you don't know much of anything, it's kind of that kind of sloppy type of painting where you throw the yeah. paint at something and hope something will come out. But do you spend a certain part of your day thinking, Today I'm going to think of a new way to fix ham. Today I'm going to think of a new way to... You know what yeah, I'm saying? Well, sometimes, because I have a, a monthly article in Parade magazine, and I have to think of what will be an interesting way, sometimes a new way of doing something. Uh -huh. But it's, I'm awfully interested in young people going into food as a profession, because you can always get a job. I mean, a good a trained cook can always get a job, and the salary started about sure. 20000 yeah. a we year. But it's, you have to like hard work. Yeah. Now, when you're, when you're testing a new idea, mm -hmm. or do you, what is the kind of success rate? D d does it come out perfect the first time, or do you just get well, one and then play with it? I'm lucky if it does. Well, for instance, I was doing a new recipe for s fresh strawberry souffle that kept collapsing all the time, and I kept working on it. And then I used it in a usual dish like this. Then it would rise up so high it would stick to the top of the oven. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, after 29 tries, and a then we finally worked on a larger souffle dish. It's turned out very well. But it really took 29 ways to do it. And even most of the French chefs I talked about would say, no, I wouldn't bother with it. Is a souffle one of the dish. most difficult things to, to get no, to? No, it's automatic. But if sometimes things don't work, like for our new edition of Mastering, for some reason, the chocolate souffle that we had in it began not to work anymore. Because mm -hmm. I, th I think ingredients change. So I had to work about eight or ten chocolate souffles, which my husband happily ate. Oh, so now I was going to ask you about that. Before we that really with, works. With the strawberry souffle, did you, what do you do with the mistakes? Your husband just eats well, them? Well, we, we eat them. <laughs> we, but he eats most of does them. Does he know their mistakes when, when he's eating them? Yes, he doesn't care. And he, the one eat that virtually stuck, anything, the will he? The that stuck to the oven, it, you know, the, the oven racks, this 
rose right up through the oven rack and stuck to the top, and he took a very nice Polaroid picture of it, uh -huh. which I have. Well, you folks were lucky to get out alive, you know that. Uh, I guess we were. Now, uh, what, we what's were. the, well, quickly, uh, maybe it's impossible to mm -hmm. say quickly, but what is the, the trick to getting a souffle to, to come up and stay up? Well, it's to beat the egg whites properly so that they're really up in stiff, shiny peaks, and then to fold them in properly so that they don't collapse as they go in. Uh -huh. I mean, otherwise, it's absolutely automatic. But, but in the strawberry souffle, I had... The fresh one, I had a puree, and it was just too liquid. It would go up like that, but there wasn't enough body to hold it up. Yeah. So I, I won't even go into what we did the 29 but don't, times, did, but did, I finally <laughs> worked it out so that it worked and still tasted fresh and not like strawberry jam. Yeah. Do they collapse automatically when you serve them, or is that part of the well, trick? Well, the difference between a souffle and a cake are really very much the same thing, but a cake has more flour in it so that the flour really hardens in the... Bubbles yeah. are baked into it, so it stays up. But with a souffle, there. the bubbles aren't hardened, but they just have enough body so that they'll hold up until you get it to the table and cut it and yeah. serve it, and then boom, it begins going down a little bit. Now, we at the last minute, you were kind enough to agree to cook something for us tonight, and well, I certainly indeed. appreciate that. And okay. and it's we don't have a big deal here. We I'll don't cook have it the. If you'll eat it, I'll then. be happy to eat it. Okay. If your husband, your husband is still with us, isn't he? Yes. He All is. right, then I'll be happy. To, I'll be happy to eat it. It's entertaining, though. Uh, Julia Child and I are here. Boy, this is a, a dream come true for me. I always envision myself involved in cooking something with you uh, on television, <laughs> and uh, we're, we're going to get to do it. Now, we, we, we have... We should do it together. Yeah, all right. Bye. We have... Uh, it's primitive, but it'll work, won't it? Sure. All right, what are you going to make for well, us, Well, what we're uh, going to do is a French toasted ham and cheese sandwich called a croque, monsieur which is very good. It's very easy to do. Okay. If, if you'll sort of open that up, I'm going to butter the bread. All of your and better you ham is sealed in plastic, isn't it, Julia? <laughs> yep, absolutely. I think that's the little... mark of any good pork product, if it's uh, sealed in... I'm making in... a little mustard butter here. All right, and we that's just... don't have to be fancy. That's just like the name says, right? Mustard butter. Mustard and, must mustard and butter. And that's Kids not, used to call me that in high school. It's not hot and dog mustard. It's not hot dog mustard. It's that kind of Dijon. Okay. How okay. much of this ham would you like? Uh, we have it's enough here to make a wallet, by the way, if you... I think this one slice. <laughs> All right, one, one slice. One slice. Okay. Cheese. I like mozzarella cheese. Hmm? All right. I love uh, cheese uh, pretty much any way it comes. There you go. Oh, I just want to Look at that. Now, that they're the same size. Is it? Look at that. Yeah. Is that some well, sort of uniform packaging regulation? <laughs> I guess so. The ham and we'll cheese will be the same thing. Put that, put that on and then have a big piece of cheese there. I'll make a okay. double thing there and a piece of Now, would you, would you yourself eat this kind of thing as a oh, snack late it. at night? Oh, it's delicious. Okay. They've got mustard butter on there. Now, you trimmed off the crusts uh, of that bread, I've right? I trimmed the crusts off and then I'm going to trim this off and that you can eat separately while you're cooking the uh -huh. sandwich. <laughs> and that's what we do on the television. We always throw it on the floor because nobody can see it. Oh, that's great. I like that. <laughs> now, this is the very important thing. <laughs> Take your hand and lean on it. Lean on and it? the reason, really, really lean on it quite hard. That's right. That's enough. And the reason for that is, and that's really a very important trick because that keeps the sandwich together while you're cooking it. Mm -hmm. And so all we have to do now... So it's very important to lean on your ham, lean boys on. and girls. Always, regardless of what mom and dad said, right. lean right. on your ham. Well, that's all right. I'm sorry, I was actually no, fearful of leaning right. on it too hard. It was what you wanted to say is to keep together. Mm -hmm. okay. Now you can tell me sweet nothings while it's cooking. All right. Because uh, all it needs, all you need to cook it until... The cheese begins to ooze out, and it's sort of lightly brown, and it's just delicious. You is, might is, there, the, is there any the kind of meat. food that, that you, you yourself wouldn't eat? Well, I, I hate fried food that's cooked in stinky fat. <laughs> <laughs> Some people like that. I know we did a, we did a show on French fries, and we had fresh peanut oil every time, and some of the chaps on the crew said, well, I don't like it. I'm used to greasy spoon yeah. fat. Oh, sure. Well, yeah, we some foods... Would you rather have wine or beer with this? Well, beer, I think, is... Uh, well, whatever you want. Beer or wine. What do you want, guys? Beer or wine? Beer. 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 <laughs> well, look at this lovely gift decanter Julia brought the beer in. It? My, it's certainly festive, isn't it? Boy, that smells great. Now, well, it doesn't. And that, that couldn't be easier, and it's really... No, that was... It's much better 
cooked in butter, then sauté, and then grilled, yeah. really. Now, uh, is and the it... pressing leaning, you did a beautiful Thank you very job. much. Well, you have other things, tomatoes and stuff, but... Well, you... I can garnish, and you might give us a plate. Oh, sure, a plate. You asked me that earlier, I'm sorry. Now, you're not going to be doing any cooking on your new, your new television show, is that correct? Oh, yes. You are going to cook. Well, the whole... What's a very lively show, because it's a dinner party sequence, and uh -huh. we go out and gather things like... Uh, not ham. <laughs> you go out and gather ham, do you? Oh, we go through a big chicken processing plant, uh -huh. which is fascinating. Ooh, but talk about uh, stinky, isn't that? Uh... Well, we didn't go through the stinky part, which is taking over off the feathers. But it's very interesting to see them all hanging by their feet like this and just going around and around this building. Yeah. They'll cut off a leg and cut off a wing and package it up. You, you also went, uh, you went salmon fishing once, didn't you? Salmon fishing. We went shrimp fishing and so forth. It sounds like a fascinating deal. Out? Yep, it's oozing a little bit. I'm let it ooze just a little bit more. Okay. And eat it. I think that one sandwich will be enough for all of us, don't you? I'm sure it will. All right. Now this can be done uh, if somebody just was uh, like shut-ins or uh, anybody yeah. didn't have a stove. We just mm -hmm. get a hot plate. Yep, just get a hot plate. Cut it apart nicely. Oh, gee, excuse oh. me, Julia. All right. Decorate it with a two or three cherry tomatoes. It's a lovely dull knife you gave me, David. Oh, I'm sorry, that was uh, the oh, end right. I think that came from the executive dining room and they like to keep the knives <laughs> dull up there. Suicide. <laughs> 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 it doesn't really need decoration. You'd like to see a menu there while you have your beer? <laughs> right, there you are. Okay, how close are we? Boy, that's beautiful. That's it. That's very nicely. And, uh, can we give this a... Now, did the cheese ooze enough? The cheese though? is oozing a little bit. Now, do you want me to eat this or you want it? To... You want... Yes, I'd like to see you eat it. Okay. <laughs> I, do, I do have to... You can eat it with your fingers if you want. I'm going to eat it here with my fingers, but I do have one little thing to do. Right. Ah. What was that? I have an artificial tooth there, and the cheese will just pull it out anyway, so I can't oh. pull it out. How does it taste? Is that pretty good? Well, it's a cheese. <laughs> hmm, that's very good. You know what that is? Is that unsalted butter? Mm hmm. Well, see, that's it. I, I don't like the way that stuff tastes. Oh, not salt in it. Well, no, I'm, it's not the, I'm just accustomed to the other kind. But the, mm -hmm. the sandwich itself is great. But what I got I there was a little. I love mustard. Yeah, I love mustard. <laughs> now, you're not offended by that, are you? No. I mean, the sandwich no. is great. It's just. Which the idea is we say in our. Television show, you get the idea of doing it, and then That's right. put on your own frills. But this stuff is better for you than, than salted butter, right? I don't think it makes much difference. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. The thing right. is, how, how it tastes to you. Well, the sandwich is great. I mean, I was... Well, I think the sautéing of it is very yeah, nice. it's very nice. Julia, it's a, a thrill for me to, to have you on the show. You're an absolute delight. Good luck great. with the new series. <laughs> what did I, folks?